Good morning. It is November 5th, 2024. It is election day in the United States. We've reached the finish line. Uh, it's the end of endless political negative ads as of tonight. So the TV is probably going to stay off all day. Um, I'm not going to be home tonight either. I can't sit around and watch election results. It's going to drive me nuts. So I'm going to the movies with my daughter and we're going to go see as part of a Tuesday night classic, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. <laughs> so I don't have to look at the other Temple of Doom we're going to come into tonight. Um, this video, and thank you for watching and subscribing, uh, will be feedback from a video I did last month on why I did not vote for president. And boy, I got a whole bunch of feedback. And some of it's great. Some of it is incomplete because some of you threw a mild insult at me and didn't elaborate. Um, so we will go from there. We'll go through some of this. And like I said, this will be a short one. And I'm going to get off the air and just like go cocoon for a day. Um, uh, if you want to see the original video, I'm going to post a link to it right about there. So hopefully you'll see it. Uh, or it may be up there. Depends upon how my YouTube editing goes. Um, so we'll go from there. But anyway, on to the feedback. The 7 Junior 86 said, good for you. These are some very trying times and disappointing as well. It doesn't feel like the people are being represented anymore. I have to agree. Uh, the political system in the United States has been manipulated to the point where you're left with two choices some are better than others, some are not. This election, I think, is a prime example where neither choice is better than another choice. Um, they both have issues in my mind. So I have to agree with that. And the next comment I got back from is from LDRJ2A.181. That's a heck of a name. And he says, Trump 2024 MAGA. God, I hope we're done with MAGA. It's kind of really screwed with the Republican Party, and I've been really holding my nose. I did vote for Trump in 20. I didn't vote for anybody in 16. I voted for third party. In this one, I just didn't vote. So it kind of tells you my thoughts um, on this. Next one is user-w7c1l. God, these are some interesting names. And he says, Trump isn't senile. He's going to be okay, I think. It took me a long time to see it. And see what? <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I, he rambles like me um, and goes on and on. But the fortunate thing is I'm not running for president. Um, so that's a good thing. Um, Cal Corgan replied to that comment and said, animatedly eccentric. Is that not senile? I don't know. Um, and we're going to move on now. Peter Slav, P-E-T-R-S-L-A-V, wrote a very lengthy um, reply. I'm just going to keep the highlight. Uh, he goes, I keep flip-flopping on, on who I'm going to vote for. These last three elections have been miserable. I agree. But I think this is the last time we'll have Trump on the ballot, at least. If he wins, he can't run again. If he loses, he'll be too old or dead. Um, I have a feeling we're going to have a different Trump next time. I think Junior's going to run. Um and really keep screwing up the Republican Party even more. I am conservative, I will admit that. Um, and I will tend to lean more Republican than Democrat most times. Yeah, that's all I've got to say. This is making me sad uh, thinking about this election. Throwing away your vote, this is from Aiden A. Sherman 7036. And he or she says, throwing away your vote essentially gives your vote to the people who you dislike more. I don't agree. Yes, you may dislike certain candidates for their character, their position, or whatever it might be. Consider all the info such as policy, experience, and values and make the best decision you can based on that. I did. I didn't vote for anybody. Um, that's it's That was what I came up with. A um, couple of things you need to know about me. I live in a blue state. It's a very strong blue state. Um, if Harris does not win the electoral votes in this state, I will be shocked. I'll be honest with you. So 
I don't feel my vote not being there is going to impact this one way or the other. Um, that's just my, that's another reason why I didn't vote. It's my vote wasn't going to matter. I feel Harris is going to get a landslide victory in Colorado. So that's my thoughts there. And then Tamara Calderon, 6080, uh, says, looks like you're the one who's senile. I am 65. I will admit that. I did get cognitive testing at my last physical in April, and I passed that, so I'm not senile technically. But what I will admit to is I will walk into a room and not remember why. I will turn on my computer and not remember what I was going to look at. I sometimes will leave the house saying to myself, don't forget to take da-da-da, and about a couple miles away from my house and remember I didn't take what I was going to take. Um, so that's what's coming. Again, I'm not running for president, so it's not a big deal. Um, and next is Dora Shon Chile 7816. This is the last one. And they say, you're part of the problem, sir. But no elaboration. Okay, how am I part of the problem? My one vote, which is not going to twist this election one way or the other, let's face that right now, um, explain how I'm part of the problem. Uh, I think the only cure to this is going to be somehow, which I don't think is ever going to happen, is we got to wrestle away from the two-party system because it encourages mediocrity running for president. And those are my thoughts. Um, have a wonderful day. Um, I hope your candidate wins, whoever you are. Um, whoever we get, my prayers are that whoever wins this election will do the right thing for America. That's all I want out of this election. Um, maybe I'll be wrong about whoever wins. And if I am, I will admit to it. So until next time, like, share, and subscribe. Give me feedback on this one. I'd love to hear your additional thoughts. And we will see you later. Bye now.